It's been eight years of very regular sewing and I have never cleaned the lint out of my machine. So today's the day, but first some bloopers. Because I knew it was gonna be bad and it's bad. Oh man, it's looking scary. All right. I pretty much made a whole new piece of felt over here. I need something more heavy duty than this little brush. That is an embarrassing amount of lint. <laughs> Hi crafty people, I didn't intend to film today, but I also didn't intend for my sewing needle to snap and fall into my base plate. And since it did, I needed to take apart the base plate so that I could retrieve the needle so I could keep sewing. But here's the thing, I've actually never taken off the base plate before and cleaned my machine, even though I've had it for quite some time. Which I know you'll hear videos like this. Sewing machine maintenance is one of those things that often gets neglected and you don't realize uh, just how often you should be defluffing especially your sewing machine. If you use your machine very regularly like every day I would do this at least once a week. Oops. <laughs> I guess it's high time that I finally did this. So I'm going to show you a bit of footage of when I did take it off and how terribly dusty my machine was. And here's a little friendly reminder to you. Maybe your sewing machine needs to be clean too. So yeah. Uh, Maybe go do that. <laughs> my mum cleans the sewing machine. To start cleaning my sewing machine, I took my little screwdriver tool and I unscrewed the screws on the needle plate down here, ready to take it off and see what was inside. That is why I was doing it in the first place. Because my needle snapped and it fell in. So here we are, time to clean. Hmm. Yes. I have never pulled that off before and boy can you tell. <laughs> oh my. <laughs> Look at all that dust. Look at all the dust. That's really bad. <laughs> I've taken apart all the parts that can come off, all the screws and all the bits, so hopefully now if I uh, clean it out. I can wait another eight years before I do it again. Cleaning is not my favorite thing. Hmm, brand new uh, tool thingy. I need something more heavy duty than this little brush. Should go get a broom or something. How does it even get this dusty? I don't care. I don't wanna knock that little spring. I mostly tried to just clean the fixed parts, any moving parts I tried to avoid so I didn't tamper with any of the settings. Oh, <laughs> this is oddly satisfying as much as it's disgusting. <laughs> oh my golly. I really like the tip of moving the hand wheel so that the bobbin compartment moved around as well because that really helped to show even more of the dust that was stuck in there. I watched a little video on the Janome YouTube channel, which I'll link down below, just to make sure I knew how to take apart my machine and do this. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to properly clean your Janome sewing machine. I'm just going to clean on the inside where my bobbin goes. Now I'm going to remove any of that lint. And it was just interesting to see how little lint was coming out of her machine compared to this monstrosity. Look at this. Look at this. So now that that job's done, I guess I'll show you how I put my machine back together. Let me know. Let me know. I don't know why you're watching me do this. Clearly, I don't know what I'm doing. From what I can work out, you mostly wouldn't need to undo this top part and clean in here. You would just do the base part of it when you're regularly cleaning your machine, but I just wanted to be thorough considering it was the first time and maybe only time I was ever doing this. And the other thing to note is that some machines do need to be oiled, but I know that my machine doesn't need to, and you could check your manual to see if yours does. Good as new. Well, I feel uh, embarrassed. <laughs> Have you gone a long time without cleaning your machine too? Let me know in the comments to make me feel better about myself. But that's all for today. I hope you subscribe to watch some of my other sewing videos and uh, we'll see you later.